IDE is the Innovative Designs for Education, which encourages teachers to think more broadly about their curriculum and to engage in more project-based learning with students where students actually take an active role in the classroom. Currently we're working on a project where students are designing a TED Talk about friendship and they're reading Cicero's De Amicitia and they are engaging in learning about what the ancient world thought about friendship and how we can connect that to our modern understanding of friendship. Part of the process in IDE is providing structure for students as they create these projects. Um, so students have choice and voice and agency in what they are and how they are learning the work that we are doing. Especially in a math classroom, students really are learning from a felt need. We rarely hear now, where am I going to see this? How am I going to learn this? Because the students are given a task and through real world applications see how often this mathematics is applied to real life. The new furniture has definitely created more of a student-centered environment. I'm working in small groups and students have a lot more time to collaborate together. Through our activity list, students get to choose whether they want to work on an independent project, whether they want to work with a partner or with a small group. So the furniture allows students a lot of choice. If they want to work independently, oftentimes they go back to the high top tables. If they want to work with a group, the tables that are on wheels allow for flexibility. They can pull two tables together for a large group. I like the IDE method because with the activity list we get to have a little freedom and we also get to do fun stuff after we finish the things in the textbook and answering questions and we also do a packet and we might watch a video and take notes. But then we get to do fun things like making a rap or a song about what we learned. And I also like the activity list because Miss Gambino, who is my social studies teacher, she comes around and asks us how we're doing and if we know everything and if we have any questions you can just feel free to ask her. Students are collaborating more often when I'm using IDE. It allows me to work more closely with students so I get an idea of what they need and how I can push them and they're able to find their own ways to learn. What we recently worked on was a cam toy project whereby the students were tasked with designing out a small toy for an elementary school student where the objective was for them to learn about toy design, toy safety, client specifications and requirements. Uh, the IDE platform um, has provided a series of very concrete tools outlining a better pathway to success. It's, these tools have helped me identify strengths and weaknesses within existing projects and also um, design new projects um, and it's made this pathway clearer just for, for myself and for the students so they're starting from a beginner through to like mastering a skill and it's put that by way of these tools put it right in front of them. I love IDE because in my classroom we have an activity list which means we pretty much have an agenda so some days we'll get to decide on working on maybe something on the computer and something on a sheet of paper, which I love to do in groups. I love IDE because of all the freedom we have to learn and all the resources we get from the computers, the textbooks, and we work in groups, so all the friends, if we don't know something, they help us with anything we have trouble with. We're very pleased that we were able to bring in IDE, the Innovative Designs for, for Education, to the Bronxville School. We feel the IDE structures fit very well with the Bronxville Promise as we seek to engage our students uh, in their world, in their future, as we try to have our students think more critically and globally, be able to solve problems that they'll be have to solve in, in the future. We think the ID model works very well for us uh, and allows students to develop their executive function skills that they will need to be successful. Things like time management, responsibility, uh, grit, perseverance, we know those are important skills for our students and we think the ID model fits very well with us.